Good morning, fam. I'm actually um, kind of uh, stranded currently. So I picked up Rosine from the shop, drove it all the way out here to central Ohio, three hour trip, didn't miss a beat, drove straight and narrow, alignment's perfect, everything's good, right? Nothing, nothing wrong. I get on my way back and I'm about 15 miles away from where I'm going, headed home. I got another like 160 miles to go, death wobble. So I pull over, try to keep it straight, pull over, it stops and then start driving again, another mile, hit a small bump, boom, death wobble, it's just going nuts, back and forth on the wheel, pull over, slowly keep it straight and just slowly drift over, stop, go another mile, does it again, so I'm like, okay, I'm not doing this, this clearly it's not just coincidental, something's real loose, something's wrong, so I took it 15 miles back to some close family that was the closest family to where I was um, at 15 miles away 35 miles an hour all the way back then Reagan had to pick up the Whistling Diesel Dually because it's still at the house currently It was about to get picked up, but that's the only vehicle we had thank goodness We had it at the moment. I said hey I hate to ask you this But you're gonna have to hook up the 20-foot trailer and bring that truck all the way out here to Wayne County, Ohio because Rosine's getting bad death wobble. I'm not wanting to drive seven hours to get home and go 35 mile an hour the whole time. Not to mention that could cause an accident, it's in the dark, people might not be able to judge how fast you're going. Just not a good idea. So then she gets out here, Dooley's perfect by the way, Dooley runs and drives, everything's great. And we're like, okay, well it still starts just fine, so we're just gonna pull it on the trailer. Go to start it, and let me, well, it's not gonna do it anyways, because I already disconnected the power going to the starter, but it's just going click, click, like I can hear it when I get down by the starter, you can hear it like trying to engage. Like, it's just like trying to engage on the starter. So I took the power and the, you know, negative to the starter, took them off, clean them up, tighten them back on, nothing. Clean all the battery posts and the cables going to them, tighten them up, nothing. So I'm currently in the process of taking the starter off the truck because I feel like that's the issue. So I'm taking that off right now. And then I'm gonna run the batteries up to Advanced Auto as well. Have them test the starter, have them test the batteries, make sure everything's good. Or if it's not good, which I'm guessing the starter's shot and the batteries probably aren't helping that case. Getting them swapped out, reinstalling, and then getting on the road. But this is not the video I was wanting to film with Rosine right now, but I thought I'd let you guys know what's going on. I figured that, you know, with getting an alignment done and, you know, I just had an axle swap done on it and suspension, all this stuff, Something could have been, you know, a little bit loose or out of alignment a little bit or something somewhere, even though I had it all looked through by a shop. There's just a good chance when you do all that kinds of stuff, there's just more things that could have gotten missed or slightly out of tune. That kind of stuff can just happen. So we're gonna give this thing a good old cold start this morning. It's literally freezing. This was Reagan's first time driving this truck ever last night. Not only was it her first time driving this truck, it was her first time pulling a trailer. And she had to drive it in the dark, kind of want to say 170 mile trip. <laughs> Thing got filthy last night. As you can see, we've got snow here now. A lot of crazy stuff happened. We'll get to the details on everything and hopefully what fixes it and stuff like that with Rosine, I'm saying. But yeah, this truck was actually supposed to get picked up yesterday and I had to call the guy and tell him, I'm like, dude, like, I hate to tell you this, but he, had, he hadn't left yet, but he was about to leave to come pick up the truck to haul it off to the winner's house and drop it off. I was like, dude, we have to use the truck right now. Um, I had another truck have a problem. So I'm currently using that one, the dually, to pick up that truck. So I'm gonna have to hold off on a couple days to get that picked up again. He's like, oh, no problem. So yeah, great. Brand new starter, brand new batteries. Heck yeah. Well, we got the truck dropped off. Not this one, the red one. Well, we made it back safely. 
the dually definitely saved us there. If we did not have this truck right now, I would definitely have been a little bit stranded or screwed over with a huge tow bill or something like that. Definitely came in handy. And also another note, that is another reason why I'm thinking more and more about getting a newer truck for myself to drive and not the resto gen and i'm going to tell you why my wife can she can drive a manual truck but for example last night she had to get the baby together in his stuff put him in the truck you know hook up a trailer in the dark drive three hours to come get me and it makes me wonder you know and that's probably not the only time that's ever going to happen where i'm going to need picked up so i can tow a vehicle that back home that you know broke down so to speak which rosine didn't break down necessarily but it had bad death wobble starting to happen did it three times within like a two mile span and then the starter went out and a bunch of other stuff so and it makes me think more and more like wow the cadillac probably could have managed to pull that back haul the pickup truck with that before behind it's not meant to haul i want to say that load between the trailer and the truck is probably well over 10,000 pounds, I'm gonna guess between 10 and 12, depending on how much my trailer weighs, of course, in the truck. If we didn't have the dually right now, she would have had to bring the Cadillac, which would have been fine, but it would have been not safe driving back home with that trailer and that truck on it, or she would have had to drive this truck, assuming that we weren't having the pump needing to be gone through a little bit more yet, and I was out of town, so I wasn't here to work on this more, but like, she would have had to take this pickup truck, let's say, to go and get us, which is a manual, it's just older, it doesn't have a seat for baby in there. That's technically safe for the baby in there, stuff like that. So like that in the dark, hooking this up, all this other stuff and whatever, it would have been a real pain. Let's just say that. It would have been a pain for um, my wife to do. So I don't know, more, it makes me more and more like in that situation realize, I'm like, oh shoot. Of course, you can manage without, everybody finds a way with what they've got, but it would be so much easier and safer if we had a newer pickup truck that me or her could easily and comfortably drive just in case we have to make trips like that because it was awesome hauling that thing back with the dually but with the Cadillac, it would have had me a little nervous for a three hour trip, 180-ish miles behind that Escalade. That's rated for about 9,500 pounds but that load would have exceeded that by a little bit. And on another note, the giveaway for this truck is live and you've only got I think 48 hours left to get 20X entries. So if you want to do that, Get them in, 20 entries right now. This is the best deal of the entire giveaway and it's not coming back. Sometimes we bring back 20 entries at the end. We're not doing that this time. So this is your only chance to get 20 entries. You've got 48 hours left and then they're gonna be gone. The 20 entries end on December 5th and that is when they expire. And then the giveaway itself ends in 18 days. So if you haven't gotten entries in yet, the giveaway just went live, but it's a super short one, just over two weeks left, and then it's gonna be gone. So if you wanna get entered, information's in the description below. Every $5 you spend on the merchandise gets you 20 more entries to win. This truck plus $5,000 cash, which yes, we are gonna be wrapping up here. I'm actually taking the seat to get upholstered, the center console seat tomorrow. Um, then we're gonna have somebody come and look at the pump here and just get the whole idle thing worked out. Then it's gonna be getting a new clutch put in, uh, carrier bearing, some other stuff. But that's we're just gonna have all done by one guy that I'm gonna haul it off to to get that stuff done just because changing out a clutch and a carrier bearing, all that stuff. I just would rather him do that just because that's kind of a a lot to do in the shop here with no lifts and stuff like that, no big jacks and stuff. That's the plans for this truck, but regardless, the thing's gonna be in perfect mint shape when you guys get it. Keep that in mind. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for entering. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully, guys, enjoyed the video. More to come on Rosine soon. We just dropped it off at the shop. Hopefully, that's the last issue we have with that thing for a long time. I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.